Hello guys, it's Maya and today I'm back with another video. It's another makeup challenge. Oh. It has been quite a long time since I've done a makeup challenge and you lot seem to really, really love them. So I am back with another one. This one you may notice we've done something similar before, but oh, this time we have stepped it up again. Instead of the mixed up makeup challenge where you take makeup items out of a bowl and then you have to apply them in that order, you know the drill, you know the drill. We are doing the same concept, but with brushes. Well, mind blown, mind blown. Before we get on into this, I just want to tell you I am working with a watch brand called Yod on this video. That is a really cool name, isn't it? It looks like Yod, but it's Yod. Like Toad, but with a Y. Yeah, I find some weird things interesting. <laughs> Anyway, we are working together on this video. I am currently wearing their Cora watch. It's a rose gold one. I am absolutely in love with this. I wouldn't say I liked it if I didn't like it. They are genuinely beautiful. They make all sorts of wooden watches. So genuinely, genuinely beautiful watches. And we have teamed up to do a giveaway for you, which I am very excited about and very jealous of as well. <laughs> you could win a $180 gift card for their website. <laughs> 180 as well as free shipping and free sizing as well all you have to do is click the link in the description and then it'll take you to the giveaway page and then BAM sorted I've also managed to get you a code for $25 off anything on the website and that is just OMG it's my 25 you can use it to your heart's content there you go $25 off <laughs> now we're diving right into the challenge I've already got my makeup taken off if you can't tell if you don't know the rules to the mixed up challenge basically all you have is a bowl and in here I have got little pieces of paper each with a different brush on it so I go through the steps of my makeup routine and for one product I take one of these out and whatever brush it says on it I have to apply the makeup using the brush I probably made that a lot more complicated than it could have been okay okay let's get right into this I've skipped primer because I've already primed my face and everything like that because I normally just do it with my fingers so we're going straight in with a foundation I am using the covergirl outlast day fabulous foundation so it's mega full coverage for foundation we are putting this on with I'm keeping eye contact to know that I don't cheat oh man there's not enough minutes in the day for this to work mm. a lip brush just for a little bit of context as to why I'm not happy, this is a lip brush. The recording of this video is now on 17 minutes and approximately three of those I did the introduction. This has taken a long, long time. It looks like I'm just so, so wrinkly because I haven't blended it out, oh my God. I'm just gonna move on because I wanna forget that ever, ever happened in my life. And next step is concealer. I am using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and we are doing this with, <laughs> not too bad I suppose, a blender eyeshadow brush. This is the eyeshadow blender brush I have got. I don't think this is gonna be too bad because it's an all right size and it's made for blending. Oh, it's not too bad. Eh, uh -huh. demon face. I still look about 90 years old, but that isn't too bad. Next, we're moving on to powder, and I'm using the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. So we're gonna use this. If I just broke the lid. Okay, I hope we get a good one for powder. We are using... I am just getting the worst combinations in the world. Eyeliner brush. Once again, oh, I think this is the smallest one. What did I do in life to deserve this? Why is karma biting me in the ass? <laughs> the footage for this video is going to be about two hours long. I'm just telling you now. You all better go down and smash that like button now because I'm spending so much time in editing this, I bet you. 7,000 likes. Let's try and get 7,000 likes. Okay, I'm just gonna dab it in. Oh, this is gonna take forever. It's not gonna take forever. It's gonna take five ever because it's gonna take me that long. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What is this doing? I'm trying to get the places that are gonna crease or get oily because ain't nobody got time for that. May as well do another little cheeky interject. If you haven't subscribed already, you are missing out on a lot of random crap, so make sure to subscribe. <laughs> Next up, we are moving on to bronzer. We are using, please be a good one, blush brush, hey. That's not bad. I think the gods are giving me a bit of sympathy for having to go through those tiny brushes. This is my blush brush, so I think it fits perfectly, hell yeah. This has opened my eyes to the world. I think I'm going to switch and use this as my bronzer brush because damn. 
on fleek, as the kids would say. <laughs> By the way, I use the NYC Smooth Skin Face <laughs> Bronzing Face Powder in the shade Sunny. This is like £2.50 in Superdrug and you'll get it even cheaper if you have uni days because you get 10% off with the uni days. My link is in the description as always, so go and sign up to get 10% off. Please, please be good. Contouring is next. Oh God. We are doing contouring with a powder brush. Eh, uh, mixed opinions right now. I don't know which facial expression to make to reflect how I'm feeling. Let's go with this one. This is my powder brush. It's quite big, but I think I'm just gonna squish the little thing. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's so big. Hey, I'm quite happy with this. Yes. Next, I'm moving on to blush. Again, I'm using the Sleek Face Foam Kit. This is my beer. I'm gonna be using the rose gold colour. Oh my god, it matches my watch. Rose gold. Hey. And for blush, we are going to be doing it with... Oh, there's two. The... Flat eyeshadow brush. Flat eyeshadow brush. Okay, yep. Yeah, my streak of good brushes has just gone out the window. Bye. This is my flat eyeshadow brush. Once again, it's tiny. What is it with me getting absolutely tiny brushes for big face parts? Ugh. Oh my God, that isn't bad at all. And I'm like glittering to the heavens. Why do I always make that head move when I'm trying to show glitter? Am I a pigeon? What am I doing? Ooh, highlighter next. Mm. I could either have very little glitter or you will be able to see me on Google Maps satellite. I am doing my highlighter with a foundation brush. That's not bad, that's an all right chip, hell yeah. Also now it means I can pack it on and I can shine. Shine, let it shine. Stop, stop being so hard on yourself. Oh stop, stop it. It's <laughs> not good for your hair. Oh boy. Oh boy! <laughs> Never mind Google Maps satellite, you will see me from Mars. I'm doing the pigeon head again. Next is eyebrows and there is an eyebrow brush in the brushes we have left so let's pray we get that because anything else will go awful. I'm doing my eyebrows with... Eyebrow brush! Yeah! Woohoo! I'm gonna look like a human! Mm, yes, if you haven't seen my mixed up makeup challenge as well, make sure to watch that because the same thing with primer happened and I am buzzing. See, that step should have gone absolutely perfectly and I should have redeemed it, but I've made them really, really bad. <laughs> I have no luck to do. Next is the colour for my lid of my eyeshadow, so wow. A concealer brush, yay! We are finally getting somewhere. I'm using my Walking on Eggshells Trio from Wet n Wild and I'm just going to put the pinky, pinky, pinky colour on my lid with this. There we go, glittering to the heavens once again. That went so well. But now is where it all turns to crap because the only brushes I've got left are massive ones. Crease colour next, which is the brown one in the palette with a bronzer brush. This is my bronzer brush. How do I even get it in? Oh my God, how has that turned out good? How is this happening? Oh, what the hell? You know what, I'm not gonna even question it because I'm very happy with how that turned out. Well then, moving on to eyeliner, I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown Gel Eyeliner with a contour brush. How is this gonna? Mm, mm, mm. I mean, it could have gone a lot worse. Hmm. I'm just gonna skip the mascara step and just put it on normally. I've been loving the new Icor Lash Alert mascara. It's really, really good and doesn't come off. Like I have cried a lot with this mascara on and it doesn't budge. <laughs> Says a lot about me. Wow, and the last step is lipstick and there's only one brush left, which means we are using the fan brush. Once again, I'm going for the squeeze option. I'm using the Avon lipstick in the shade Mocha. This is like my beer at the minute. I mean, a lot of the pigment that should have come from that lipstick is gone forever, it's fallen into the abyss. Not that bad. All of the brushes are used up, meaning this is the finished makeup look I was expecting so much worse. So I'm very happy it's turned out this way. Make sure you just smash that like button if you haven't already to get it to 7,000 likes. Once again, a big thank you to Yord for working with me on this video. Make sure to enter their giveaway and just thank you very much for watching. I've got a whole playlist of challenge videos, so if you want to see a little bit more of me, go and binge watch that playlist. 
Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. See you later! OMG, it's Maya. She has sorted out a certain attire with makeup moments, lifestyle too. You'll never get bored. OMG, it's Maya.